I would like to show you what we are offering in our PDF reports for tower surveys. The first page that you open up on the tower report is the basic information, date of the survey, and of course, your name, your area, your, your latitude, longitude, address, standard information, antenna height, and your elevation. The next page gives you the actual tower summary. And this one is a three tower survey. You'll notice we've got the carriers. There's three different ones that you were able to choose. The distance from your location to the tower, the heading and latitude, longitude, elevation, the antenna height, and whether it's a line of sight or is there an obstruction. And in this case, there are no obstructions. It is a clear line of sight. You'll notice there is C additional information below on the last page or thereabouts there's information explaining a little bit more about some information here okay in the next page on the pdf you'll see a full view and what this is is your antenna location and of course the actual towers and for example on one of the towers we give you a bird's eye view of the tower you can see where it's located at and we also give you a basic illustration here showing the elevation along with your antenna and tower and clearance. Okay. And then we'll get into more on elevation and stuff here in a minute. And we'll talk about the optional Google Earth KMZ file. I would like to show you an overview of the Google Earth KMZ file. Now, when you load that into Google Earth, which is a free software, you will be able to see your whole overlay looking at your antenna location and tower locations. You will also be able to get a better view of your actual terrain in between your antenna and tower location tower and antenna and I will note that the elevation shown here does not include the height of the antenna and tower this is the actual layout of the land so just a a, a quick look here you'll see that we've got a couple of high places here and we can take a look at them a little closer and get in there and once we get it kind of the center of the screen there let's zoom in and take a look and see what we've got here all i'm doing is using my center mouse wheel and it looks like to me road so here we go we got a this house and this road is up on a looks like a ridge line i would call it so if we wanted to look at another peak here, we, all we got to do is double click and it'll take us back to, okay. So there's another right on the edge here. You'll see the land is, is rising up and there's another peak. But what we do is, is we recommend your antenna height compared to the tower height to get over obstacles like this. Sometimes you will not be able to. It will be impossible to get your antenna height up. But we recommend also antennas to help you. Close the elevation now. And I'm going to zoom in here. And what I'm doing is, you notice you can see the blue line here. And it kind of gives you an idea that you've got a hump here when you notice there's a little gap here. And also, if you right click on this blue line or close to it, you will get an actual pop up there. It says show elevation profile. Okay, what we do here is I'm using my center mouse wheel, and that allows us to drag and kind of look better if we want to see what's in our path or take a little tour, as I call it. We can go along and see the obstacles between our antenna location and tower location. And that gives you a great view 
of what is in your path between your home antenna and tower. Gives you a real good look at it. 